Well, you could say our next guest is a whiz behind the bar, and that would be an understatement. The drink he's making today won him first place at the most imaginative bartender regional competition in Chicago, earning him a top spot to, to compete in London this fall. And Brandon Sass is with me out here in the backyard. And uh, you're going to make us an Americana, yeah. which you made for this this competition. Is this is a big competition in yeah. Chicago. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's it's one of the biggest competitions in the world for bartenders. But uh, you know, effectively around the country, you'll have uh, your hometown or sort of your largest market in that area. Right. So I competed here in Minneapolis and then uh, moved on to the regionals, which is in Chicago for the Midwest region. And uh, me and one other person are moving on to London from there. So Very there's 16 cool. American contestants moving on to London. And how did you come up with this with this idea? Well, it, it kind of started around the idea of manipulating the egg white of the emulsifier in, in a Ramos Gin Fizz, which is a classic cocktail with okay. egg whites and gin. Um, and I realized that uh, mayonnaise actually acts the very same way as an egg white in that it has sugar and acids and those right. same emulsifying proteins. And so kind of going down the rabbit hole from there, uh, we sort of ended up at this sort of like cheeseburger inspiration, right? Very interesting. Your, yeah. your brain goes places, mine does not, <laughs> yeah. that's for sure. Uh, so um, why don't you kind of walk us through making this? Well, right. So I Help mean, us understand this mayo concept. So it's, it's uh, gin is the only spirit in the cocktail. Okay. Um, and then I, to mimic some of the flavors of the burger in other fun ways, I um, uh, juiced iceberg lettuce and huh. then a little kitchen science added citric and malic acid to make it the strength of lime juice so that I could sort of use that in place of what would normally be lemon or lime juice. Hashtag um, science folks, this <laughs> is all about science here. Um, a honey syrup, because honey is my favorite condiment in sort of the fast food realm. Yeah. Um, and then heavy cream, and you shake that with ice and then you strain it and then basically I have it here now where I'm just kind of whipping it dry after it's already been diluted and made cold. Okay. And then you get this cool effect, You. There's soda water in the bottom of the glass. Okay. And if you pour it just so, the soda water and the cocktail should react so that it gets sort of this froth, right? Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shake this one just a little bit more. Just Dave, come on. Yeah, I'm a bartender. <laughs> I'd like a uh, Americano. It looks like a glass of milk. Well, it does kind of. It has sort of a frothy texture. You'll see. Look at that. So, how many uh, how many versions did you make before you finally, you know, actually said, "Hey, this tastes good." This was sort of like. Is it ready? Do you do you put anything else? Yeah, on? actually, oh, well, no, that's okay. So I, I dehydrated ketchup. You guys are gonna think. Hydrated ketchup. And turned it into sort of a powder, so that you could get the aromatics of sort of the ketchup and the mustard. I mean, when you do the competition, you know, all the all the senses sort of come into play and that's where a lot of the imagination comes in too. And so yeah, I can recreate all of it here, but I use an easy bake oven and serve it with French fries. What is that that you just sprinkled on it? That would last, well, that was the hydrated mustard. Hydrated mustard, okay. And then sesame seeds for, I like a, a sesame seed bun personally. So this is like, it tastes like a cheeseburger. You'll that's definitely get some elements therein. Go. All right, let's do it. Dave's, Dave's my... All right, I'm ready. Do All I right. stir it or do I just go? No, just go right in. Just go. A little sweet. It's actually really, really good. It's, it's very tangy. refreshing. Yeah. It is. Right, I mean, and that's the other thing is that it does have to be drinkable at some point yeah. too. So like the right. rabbit hole has to come up at some point, right? So <laughs> yeah, you have to want to drink a cheeseburger. Right, it does, exactly. It does actually taste like a cheeseburger. It's, it's but, very citrusy. Right. So when is your London competition? Uh, September 15th, I believe, I, I take off to London. Well, good luck. Good luck. Congratulations on how far you've come Appreciate so far. Don't be scared. Uh, that, uh, that's a pretty good drink. Uh, you'll find Brandon behind the bar at Lawless Distilling <laughs> Company in Minneapolis and learn more about his uh, imaginative bartender. Cause if someone comes in, can they say just make me something? Yeah, absolutely. That's the best Why when not? a bar can, bartender can just like make you something that's you gotta, not on the menu. You gotta start somewhere. Just have make a little me a couple fun more there. of these. <laughs> uh, you can learn more about that competition though on care11.com. We'll be right back.